Hello, soon-to-be nurse practitioners. My name is Shara Cohen, and I have created um, this diagram, and this is my gift to you on how to remember murmurs um, for the purposes of passing the NP boards, nurse practitioner boards. So I've gathered information from all over the place and came up with this beautiful diagram, which makes it so much easier to remember and understand murmurs for the boards. So allow me to explain to you what's in front of you. You know how you can go into the exam and you have a white piece of paper or a white board and you can dump information. Well, this is a great dumping information material as uh, it takes care of all the murmur topics that they can throw at you. So allow me to explain. If you draw this gentleman on your board and then you draw the heart and you do your four points, we're gonna label this corner A, this corner P, this corner T, and this corner M. Now see, apartment M, apartment M. So this gentleman lives in apartment M. A for aortic, P for pulmonic, T for tricuspid, and M for mitral. That's the location. Wonderful, that's like 25% of the murmurs right there, <laughs> of the information. Now, remember when you look at the diagram, um, this side is the left and this side is the right, okay? So when they ask you on the exam, for example, where is the aortic area located? You're gonna know it's on, by the letter A. On the right side, by the second intercostal space, costal meaning rib, and you know that this one is up top, up top, somewhat further halfway down, and then the furthest one down. All you really need to remember is the second, number two intercostal space, and then the bottom one being the fifth intercostal space. The tricuspid area is somewhere in between third or fourth intercostal space. So again, A for aortic, P for pulmonic, pulmonic being by the second, intercostal space on the left side, M for mitral being on the left side, um, fifth intercostal space. Perfect, so easy. Now, let me tell you about this gentleman. His name is Peyton, Peyton Manning. Now, pardon me, and funny story, I had made a video earlier and I said that I'm not a sports fan and I am um, from another country. So <laughs> I did not know who he was. And I said he was a baseball player. Turns out he's a football, football player. Anyways, for the purposes of the murmurs, all you need to know is that he is an athlete and he has very strong arms, okay? That's all you need to know. And why am I saying that? Well, because Mr. Peyton Manning as MVP. MVP stands for most valuable player or mitral valve prolapse. MR is for mitral regurg, Peyton Manning, the P and the M for uh, physiologic murmur, AS for aortic stenosis, and MVP for mitral valve prolapse. This gentleman right here who lives in apartment M, his name is Mr. Peyton Manning, and he is known as an MVP. Now, these murmurs here, are green. These are your systolic murmurs. Green murmurs are okay. You should be fine if you hear one of these, no big deal. Now, on the other hand, you have arms. Arms are dangerous, that's why they're in red. These are your diastolic because you die. Well, you really don't die, but for the purposes of remembering this, all right, Arms are dangerous, you die diastolic, you die, okay? Bad murmurs. AR for aortic regurg, and MS uh, for mitral stenosis. Again, bad, you die, and that's why they're in red. So now you know the location, now you know which, which are okay and which are systolic, and now you know which ones are not okay, and diastolic. Remember, Mr. Peyton Manning as MVP has dangerous arms, okay? So let's review. Um, something else you need to know. 
Harsh are your regurg. Soft is your stenosis. S for soft, S for stenosis. So now you know that as well, because they may ask you something like that. And this is additional information that you need to know. A uh, little information on the side. So if, if you hear or see anything about a fixed split, you just need to make the connection that they're talking about septal defect. Fixed split with septal defect. An S split and during inspiration is normal. S split during inspiration is normal. An S2 is normal if it's during inspiration only. Okay? Only di excuse me, only systolic radiate. Only systolic radiate. Only the good murmurs radiate. Who gets S3? Well, think of fluid overload. This would be your pregnant woman or somebody with like CHF. Who gets S4? Well, this is like malfunctioning. This is kind of like the elderly. You know, things are not working as well and they develop an S4 sound um, because they're getting older. Things are not as functioning as well. And just remember that a mid systolic click, you need to think MVP, mitral valve prolapse. So where are these sounds heard? On your diagram, when you draw Mr. Peyton Mann in here and you put that he lives on apartment M, you're going to do your S sounds because they may ask you, where's the S1 heard or best heard? Well, you're going to draw an S1 here. Up top, you're going to put the S2 and then on the bottom, S3 and S4. Pretty simple if you look at it that way. The only S that stands alone is S2 and that's up top. All the other S's are down here, S1, 3, and 4. So what does that mean? Where is the S2 best heard? S2 sound is best heard in the pulmonic area or by the second intercostal space on the left side. I mean, seriously, you guys, this is, puts everything together in one diagram, and it makes it so much easier to remember. So again, don't forget Mr. Peyton Manning as MVP, uh, being this valuable player who is pretty cool. His, this is stellar rumors. He's got dangerous arms, aortic regurg and mitral stenosis. These are diastolic rumors, no good. Remember this additional information I put here. And, and that's it, guys. That's, that's, that's murmurs. That's really what you need to know for the exam is the location. Um, what what where you hear what and how much easier this does it get well you're very welcome and i hope this makes it easier for you to remember uh the murmurs for the exam if this was helpful um go ahead and and, and reach out to me um i'm going to write down my email on the bottom but i have more videos that i've created to make things a lot simpler for when you study the boards um this as a matter of fact is part of my PowerPoint presentation that I've made with a bunch of diagrams and videos and ways to, re uh, to remember stuff for the exam, especially for the visual learners. Um, and if it interests you, um, I have a website. It's called The Cohen Review. Just go to cohenreview.teachable.com and I offer my curriculum and I also offer one-on-one -on -one, um, virtual coaching if that interests you, where I can meet with you and see how ready you are to take the test and pick up on areas that you're not so strong, where I can give you uh, more information, more study material, more guidance uh, before you test, okay? Again, reach out to me if you have any questions. Best of luck with your studies, and I hope this made murmurs that much easier in your learning process. Thanks, guys.